Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, oh let me delete these guys because we're done with those. Today we're talking about a plugin that if you're a builder, you need it. And I have made this exact video before, but this plugin went from Archimedes V2 to V3. And they added so much stuff that literally makes it a must have if you're a builder on the Roblox platform. All right, guys, I got a little package that got delivered for the motorcycle, and I don't remember where I was at in the video. Anyways, today, Archimedes V3, I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys, show you the dev form post and everything like that to show you the difference between the other one. Real quick, I want to look at this. Uh, because it says $0, I'm pretty sure like most plugins are $0, and I just want to figure out why this says $0. Moon Animator. Oh, so it says, I released Moon Animator 2 in February 2020. Uh, for Roblox plugin marketplace program. Roblox attracted developers into this with words of opportunity and making a living. Roblox, a public company that earns hundreds of million dollars, took my work for zero. Uh, I think Moon Animator's sort of like a, they open sourced it, I think. Uh, and you don't get money for things that you like pretty much gave up rights to. I, I don't know the whole story behind that, so I better not really get into drama. Anyways, Archimedes V3. Check it out. I have so much. First off, this UI here looks so much cleaner, and there's a lot more settings. There's also an option to click these right here, and it will open it up into a tab you can drag around and put wherever you want. We're going to put it right over here for now, and I'm going to go show you guys the dev form post. So right here, guys, introducing Archimedes 3, a building plugin. Important, the new auto resize feature is essentially in beta and will likely have issues if you run into anything causing problems. Please disable the feature and manually resize the line instead. Blah, blah, blah. This is, this is kind of, you know, it's stuff. You can read it if you want. New features. Now this, this is where I'm so excited, guys. These are all features that didn't exist in Archimedes 2. Widget. Archimedes now has a studio widget form with more advanced controls that are not provided in the compact screen GUI form. And that's what I showed you guys. When you click this button, it goes into a widget. Very, very cool. Quick face selection. Users no longer have to click through every axis option in order to figure out which face matches the direction they're wanting, the, wanting to arc from. Simply click the face property box and then hover over a part. You'll see a surface selection with target surface, set the face that you're actively hovering over. So this, let's let's see, because I haven't actually used the plugin yet, but I'm so, so excited for it. Let's kind of make this bigger. All right, so, all right, face, we've got something right here. And as you can see, we can just click where we want it to be. So say we want it here. Oh, do I have to click this first? Yeah, I have to click that first and then click on the face and there we go. So we could change like that. Very, very cool, a helpful feature. I like this new angle thing. So if I type 90, um, I, I don't think it, wait, does this go up? To, oh, it goes up to 100. That's why I thought this was going to show you the angle, like in blue. So it'd be 90 would be like, you know, 90 degrees, but that just shows you how much of an angle uh, you can go up to. What happens if you go to like 180? Oh, it just fills up. All right, cool. Up next, guys, uh, we, we kind of went through the face selection. Direction preview. Hovering over the axis option in the widget will also create a surface selection on the selected parts, showing with faces that will be affected so you can quickly tell whether or whether or not it's that axis. Very cool. Radial progress bar. That's what we just kind of looked at. Users can drag their mouse across the angle circle quickly. Wait, we can? That's gonna be so cool. So how do we do that? Oh, <gasps> yo! Guys, this is actually really, really cool of a feature. So now it's no more guessing work. You can literally just drag until you're happy with it. That is a very, very cool feature. Up next, auto resize. Now they did say that this part could have some bugs in it at the uh, the beginning stages, but I still want to go over it because this is going to help so so many people. This feature tries to detect and connect parts that overlap towards the edge of a model. So guys, in the previous Archimedes V2, if you were to grab a road segment and use it, you know, make a curve, things would overlap. As you can see, all these things towards the middle in this model do overlap. Because it's the same model, it just uh, it's just turned a little bit and connected at one point. Uh, we'll call them pivot points. But the new one, look at this, guys. So much smoother. It's recommended to have this feature disabled whenever you're not using it. This is currently an experimental feature that will automatically resize align the edges of your models 
when pressing the render button. That is such a huge thing for roads, guys. It'll help so many people fix neighbors. This will force neighboring instances to resize the line back towards the deleted instance so they don't have jagged edges. Okay, so I'm guessing it like reverts whatever happened here. Alignment mode. Okay, so they actually added in like the pivot point thing that I was actually just talking about. There are three alignment modes, inside, middle, and outside. Changes the point of an object or the point of the object where it rotates, okay? <laughs> I'm stumbling. So check it out. If we have it set to the outside, it will line up pretty perfect inside it'll only connect those inner or like literally the middle point and then inside or this is middle outside inside so there's how those work guys vector 3 offset i have no idea what this is but it sounds exciting easily apply a vector 3 offset value through the widgets this will offset the rendered object by the set value it currently isn't recommended to use this feature with the auto resize feature consider them as in incompatible for right now all right sounds good render amount set the number of times you want to render Ooh, this is cool because previously we only had a button that was render once or render circle so you had to keep clicking render once now i could say okay i want it to render this angle five times that's really cool and then some future plans which we're not really going to get into because those are future plans and not out right now now we're going to kind of check out this plugin so if you guys wanted to make roads Let's go ahead, do it like this, make those black, and we already have it set here. Let's kind of, uh, all right, so the left face is not what we want to do. Or actually, we just need to change this. So, pitch and yaw, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but I think it is. And this is basically the easiest way, so, to switch if it's angled or, like, up into, I don't know what the, the correct way to say that is. But check it out, guys, and then we can say flip axis okay so now it's going over here instead of setting negative numbers in the previous version we had to set negative numbers and that was uh not exactly great so we have this we could swap sides which uh oh okay very nice very nice that's uh definitely pretty helpful as well auto resize now this is the part that's a little buggy for now so we're not going to get too too far into it but it's definitely going to help a lot of people when it's fully fixed use pivots uh we don't need to use that either for what we're doing and alignment inside middle or outside so if we align this in the middle as you can see it's connecting in the middle of these two parts but for the most part i would say you're always going to be using inside so let's set it to that and then there's all of these that you can adjust and go around with whatever you want to do and right here is a slider to set how many renders so if we want to render 14 there we go looks very good i think this is awesome However, I did notice it didn't change. Maybe it's because I had it selected before I changed the color. Let me go ahead and change this color. Render 14. Huh. So it doesn't render the color anymore. But uh, I think that's because I... Here, let me try to do it before I'm selecting. So let me close the plugin. Grab this. Open the plugin. There we go. And render 14. Okay, yeah. So you just have to color it before you select it. But guys, here's Archimedes V3. Probably the most valuable plugin on Roblox at this point in time. You could do so much with it. If you check out my past videos about Archimedes 2, you could do all that plus whatever we find uses for now. I'll make a video on like all the uses I find for it just to help people. But guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.